Well, I got this uh, clock kit from Banggood a while back because we're still in COVID times and I can't do any traveling. So I figured well, I'd try one of these kits and see how it goes and save it for a rainy day. Now, these are all the parts that you get with it. Uh, I'm not good at electronics. I don't know what some of these parts are. I had to do a lot of research on the internet, watch a lot of videos. The instructions that came with it aren't very good. It's uh, it comes from China and they're translated into English, so not the best in the world. And plus, this would be soldering that I would have to do a teeny tiny soldering. I'm good at soldering a pipe, a copper pipe with a blowtorch and uh, thick solder, but these teeny tiny ones, man, I've never worked with this before. But here's the front. I got some of the blue LEDs in there. I might have some of them in there wrong. Uh, but, and here's the back of it, and we'll talk more, more about that as the, we go through the video here. So let's take a look here. All right. Here's my finished clock, and it's in the plastic housing. And the plastic housing is nice. Remember to take the film off before you assemble it because there's this frosted film on there that has to be taken off. But some things that I messed up, there's a few lights that uh, don't always light. Some of the blue ones and some of the red ones sometimes light and they don't, and that's probably my fault. First time I ever had to solder anything this small in the back and I was struggling with that and I thought I melted part of the board at times and I didn't factor in some of these bigger things when uh, with the case because this temperature sensor that's down inside of there, I don't know if you can see it, is should be sticking out of this opening and possibly the same with this little light thing here. But I didn't know that and just mashed them all the way in. And... On the back here, I guess these LEDs are positive and negative terminals. Not ever having worked with LEDs before, I didn't know that. I thought you could put them in anyway. And there's no pluses or minuses on any of these things back here. So that didn't tell me that there was. Although the outside ones are square the inside ones are round. Maybe that should have told me something there. But just by chance, by chance, I put the uh, longer wire on the outside and the shorter one on the inside, which I think was correct. And uh, I only did that because, well, I figured I'd have more room to bend back the longer ones on the outside. Might have done that to maybe... 90 to 95 percent of these because once I started I figured well I probably should do them all the same way but the first couple maybe I messed up and that's maybe why some of these are erratic and not lighting up properly here but trying to work with these two buttons in the back one is mode the other is plus or set and the instructions only go up to like the tenth one and when I go through cycle through all these there's like 20 of them or maybe more and I don't know what they do and uh, anyhow I think I got it working where it cycles through the various lights every so many minutes how I did that I don't know but here I'm getting reflection off of that sorry there we go that's a little bit better there but uh, yeah it's a nice clock if I had it to do all over again uh, you know, I would know a lot better now. And because this opening, when I soldered that in, I had it a little bent, as you can see in there. It's not quite straight. And the solder hardened, and luckily it's just enough room. And I was surprised that it even worked when I fired, fired it up. So, uh, so yeah, okay, well, it's uh, for... I think I paid $13 with shipping, which is about the same price now. I might do another one here. So, But the soldering, oh man, was that hard there with that soldering. Teeny tiny little soldering. I'm afraid I'm having blobs of solder all over the place. But after a while, I got a little bit better. But I may go back in. I see a couple of them here. that The ones that aren't working properly, maybe I didn't get 
the solder in there correctly and I might go back and try that I'd have to take the case apart and everything here but all right let's take a look and see how it looks well here's my finished clock it's in the plastic case and these LEDs some of them uh, there might be something goofy with some of these that are flashing the blue ones will always flash because they're on the hour and it's going to uh, show that it's 1258 in the afternoon and and you can see the seconds will be ticking off on the side here uh, there's a second hand down there moving you can see it's 40 43 44 that's uh, a temperature which is off uh, this is calibration for that the year is 2021 January the 5th I don't know what the minus 2 is and it's 1258 and it looks better in person because on here it's getting reflection off of the plexiglass but uh, here's the case here's the back I can't believe that it's working with all my uh, sloppy soldering here and uh, it may be that some of these up here why they're not working that I may have ruined some of the uh, circuits printed into the board but there's other things you can do that'll make there's songs that it plays I can't figure out how to do it because there's only two switches two buttons to press and you got to do these combinations and it's written like in half Chinese so you can't understand what they're saying and I think I have this set for every five minutes this thing will change and sometimes they'll all flash sometimes they'll just certain ones flash or just the hour this and that bada bing bada boom I don't know but hey it's working I can't believe it it's for the most part it's working here and like I say it looks better in person than it than it, than it does here because this is with all the uh, flashing here it's making it difficult okay well there are a number of different settings for the lights and I'm just going to show a few of them here you can just set one and keep it at that or set it where it cycles through them at various intervals and uh, so you can you can pick that and I think I have it set to cycle through them all this is just a couple here all right this one here you can see there's some blue ones that aren't working sometimes they fire they might fire a little bit and you're not getting the full effect here on the video because it looks uh, different in person and because uh, the camera's kind of compensating here a little bit but okay well, you're going to get flashing here, and I don't have the room uh, really dark here. Here you can see the seconds are ticking off here, and, uh, and yeah, I don't know why this is. You see on this one, seconds are ticking off once more on there, and you might get that flashing on here, diagon it.